Uh. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Joss. Welcome to my channel. Uh, and welcome back to, like, my first talking to you guys uh, for a little while. So, cut the short story long. <laughs> cut the long story short. Uh, I've been moving into my new house with my girlfriend. So, um... Uh, it's taken a little while uh, for me to actually get anything done uh, in terms of being able to sit down and actually film a video for you guys. So um, I'm basically set up finally in my new kind of studio office. Uh, I, I work from home and um, I listen to music. I play guitar. I record all body asphyxiations music and stuff in kind of one area in the in the house. Um, so uh, the good thing is, is that we moved into a property that had a big spare room for all my stuff my guitars my music and everything like that so um uh i wanted to do a new music update um a new collection update the first one back after christmas the new year obviously um there's a lot of new music that's come out recently um a lot of the stuff i'm going to show you some of it's new some of it isn't um but it's just kind of the new acquisitions that i have acquired over this past uh, kind of short little time a little bit before christmas and a little bit after christmas some of them are gifts some of them have been you know obviously personal purchases uh, but all of it's good, all of it's gnarly. Uh, just in the background, if you hear a little bit of music, I'm listening to uh, Pharmacist's uh, newest record, which is Medical Renditions of Grinding Decomposition. Okay, so uh, the majority of the stuff is cassette, and there are a couple of uh, vinyls as well, but there's only a couple, because um, to be honest, as I've said before in my past videos, I've become so completely obsessed with um cassette and just the way it feels the way it sounds i just absolutely adore it so the first one that i want to talk about uh, is a, a release on gurgling gore uh which is by a band called mutilation barbecue so obviously as you can see there without trying to get any sort of reflection the artwork is absolutely superb as you can see there. Um, I mean, everything that comes out of uh, Gurgling Gore, I just absolutely adore. Some great rhymes there. So the cool thing is he does these kind of blank one side printed on the other cassette tapes, which I absolutely adore the way he does that. Um, I'm kind of only talking about the visuals right now just because I'll get to the music in a sec. So there's that as well. Um, just looks awesome. Just humans being barbecued for this pig-like monster. This release kind of sits within that new era of kind of high production death metal. Um, I believe these guys, they're only young guys. Um, so they've done an incredible job for a bunch of young dudes. Um... But the thing for me is that there's this kind of mutilation barbecue, uh, 200 stab wounds, those sort of bands, Sangua Sugar Bog, those sort of bands that have this high production value, but still keep it that old school death metal tinge to it. Um, but there's like a bunch of bands that are kind of doing that sort of thing where it's the old school vibes, keeping it traditional, but the production value is higher. So it sounds more modern, riff heavy down tuned high production value death metal then check out mutilation barbecue on gurgling gore uh so yeah so that's the first one that is mutilation bbq kind of wish it was barbecue weather right now so next up is um just an awesome release i'm kind of behind on this one because i genuinely couldn't get one um anywhere in the uk without paying stupid amounts of money for it and as much as i love collecting and as much as i love death metal like more than any type of music ever i'm not willing to pay you know over 20 to 25 pounds which is equal to maybe 30 35 dollars uh just for a cassette this is intestinal hex with the exalted chambers of abhorrence um so it comes in this beautiful slip case um artwork is awesome sorry if it's a bit dark um artwork is done 
by my absolute main dude and vocalist of my band, Rotting Head, or Latif. Um, so here is the cassette case artwork there. Mint green sort of finish with the album details on one side and then this kind of cool... I don't know, tentacle Cthulhu, Cthulhu sort of vibe on it. So, once again, one of those bands that kind of has really good production value, um, but the cool thing is it, it sounds nasty, as in the actual mix sounds gritty, it sounds nasty, it sounds traditional. Um, incredibly down-tuned stuff once again. I mean, in this whole death metal sort of vibe, I think if you're not down-tuned, you're not doing it correctly, apparently, or playing a BC Rich. But the good thing is, is that Dan's not playing a BC Rich. So that's kind of nice, right? A bit of a change. How do I explain this without just saying it's death metal? I mean, to be honest, it's really difficult to kind of put these death metal records into a category of saying, you know, it sounds like this, it sounds like this, because at the end of the day, no one's reinventing the wheel. But the thing is, is that some people definitely do it a little bit better than others. And Daniel's got such a, a kind of an experience behind him with all the bands that he's done. Um, especially that, I do have it somewhere, um, that Fumes and Thorn split, which I absolutely adore. Um, and I found out about Daniel through that and then the Intestinal Hex stuff. And this was a gift from Daniel. So I'm over the moon about finally owning this cassette because I genuinely was not prepared to pay the money that you know with shipping and American money and all that sort of stuff so if you're looking for a slab of super super if you're looking for a slab of super heavy dark sort of really decently kind of written musically death metal so the structure of the song is really interesting it's not just riff 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 then check out intestinal hex um really really good release making our way through these making my way downtown making our way through these next up is a release that i had to buy just because i'm a huge fan so if you can see there i've actually got the artwork to souls to deny here framed um and that is uh suffocation no breathing um and this is effigy of the forgotten so this came out on uh well i got it from grindfather i don't know if this is like licensed or if it's a bootleg or i i really don't know but at that time and now I don't care if it is real or if it's like uh, if it's not licensed or if it's just a boot cut boot 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 boot. Um, it's out on Rotten Carnage Records. I didn't look it up to be fair, um, but it's this cool, you know, all over print as you can see there. Does it, it sounds okay to me on my cassette player going through my big speakers. It sounds okay. It looks okay. The prints. On the images on the inside are okay. Literally nothing special about it in terms of visually at all. Um, and the sound is okay. But for me, it was just a matter of owning this record on cassette, which was really, really cool. I'm sure there would have been other ways of getting it. I'm sure there were lots of people out there that have done this on cassette just as bootlegs. But um, grabbing it from Grimefather was important to me because I love that distribution um, company and I like to support. So I don't need you to check out this record. Um, if you haven't, then f fuck me, you need to listen to this record. Um, but other than that, it's just a quick one. I grabbed Effigy of the Forgotten off of Grimefather. My boy, Davo from uh, Coffin Mulch uh, just released... Uh, this with uh, another dude um, who is awesome as well. Um, this is Goga with Cranial Demolition. Um, just an awesome, like, what is it? Five track death grind demo. Um, uh, if you don't know Devo, as I just said, he plays in a band called Coffin Mulch, which everybody knows about right now as well. Um, but this is awesome. The... The artwork and everything, the cassette in this like toxic green finish, um, see through cassette as well. It's just really, really cool. Um, as I said before, I'm massively into grind at the moment, listen to it a lot, and um, 
this came out on dry cough as well as as like the actual distribution for it uh the label for it can you focus please so this came out on dry cough as you can see as well um which is awesome for those guys um because dry cough as a uk label is absolutely awesome not just a label but a distribution as well they've always got good stuff including like 20 bucks spin stuff as well to grab that's how i got worm um with forever glade but yeah so a nice slab of death grind metal five tracks nice and short loads and loads of snippets from like cool horror films and stuff like that in there um so yeah check that out this one was a blind purchase for me i didn't listen to it and then when i listened to it i was like yes please um this is skull smasher with rocket hammer brain surgery which is like not only the most killer artwork going um but one of the best names for a record as well um this was a super limited this came with a little card and it actually showed told me yeah so this is limited to a hundred copies um i don't know what number this is um but this it kind of shows everything there tells you the limited amount of the copies and everything like that um but this is just straight up unapologetic um oh this might be number seven um grind metal it's just super heavy super brutal i can't stay super heavy super brutal super short songs and it's just everything that you want in a grind record like blasting drums killer guitar tones absolutely crushing vocals and i love don't get me wrong i love all these bright cassettes i love all these cool ones i love these classic see-through cassettes with the names on it you know like there's just something really cool and old school about just having a classic clear cassette but the artwork is what i bought it for there's just literally a dude like a muscle bound dude holding multiple machine guns and then this demon dude smashing this dude's head in rocket hammer brain surgery absolutely awesome grind metal i picked that up off of grindfather as well so check that out if you haven't really really cool sounding these next four jeez so um, in another video, I'm going to be talking about um, the release of my band's USA exclusive on Gurgling Gore. And Ryan from Gurgling Gore, Big Daddy Gore, sent me four cassettes for my personal collection, along with all the cassettes for me to sell on my band's band camp. And man, I was so happy I got these on cassette now. I'm just over the moon. So first one is what I've been listening to nonstop, which is um, the uh, the Pharmacist record or Pharmacist with medical renditions of grinding decomposition. Uh, this record here. So I missed picking this up on vinyl uh, like an idiot. I just waited for such a long time and I didn't grab it and I didn't get it, which was really um rubbish and upsetting so not having any form of this was just bumming me out because i love to listen to it and i would love to own it so i was super happy when um uh, big daddy said that he'll send you know a bunch of pharmacist stuff that he had out on his label so medical renditions of grinding decomposition is just unbelievably good i'm listening to now these boys are japanese if you know me you know i'm obsessed with everything japanese and based in japan um been there a couple of times and i'm just like it's like my favorite place ever um so yeah just unapologetic brutal death metal just absolute carnage vocals are nothing but low and guttural blast beats the guitar tones are just fucking buzzsaw dude it's so sick check check out pharmacist if you haven't whoever's watching this who or does like collection updates will know exactly who pharmacists are but yeah um and he also sent me cra uh, carnal pollution as well which i was i was only expecting one but he sent me four different things so um i've got carnal pollution here as well which is just so sick man and it's funny, isn't it? The Japanese just do not care. Like, all of their visuals are just so nasty. 
everything about the Japanese stuff. If you go into the deep realms of darkness with Japan, it's darker than anywhere, I swear to God. So this other one here is the Fluids and Pharmacist Split Feeling Young, which I managed to get the record for, which I absolutely adore. And now I have it on the old, the old cassette tape. Great visuals once again, like nowhere near, I mean, it's a lot more, uh, there's the fluid side. Uh, it's a lot more forgiving uh, to look at <laughs> than the record. If you've seen the record cover, it's pretty heavy duty, uh, pretty gnarly stuff, all about what kind of drugs and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then this one I was not expecting, um, and I listened to it for the first time today and just absolutely love it. Um, the visuals are super 80s, not super like 80s, late 80s, early 90s. And this is put the split with putrid stew and fluids. Uh, fluids, uh, putrid stew and fluids, taking care of business is our business and business is good. And it's just like... Look at that. I mean, how sick is that? The colors and everything. Super, super Pit Viper 80s sort of thing. Um, and even the the cassette as well. That's the putrid stew side. And then you've got the, the fluid side as well. Gore number 23, taking care of business. And our business is... And it's just, you know... It's just so, so sick. And I listened to it today, and it's as you would expect. It's You go on the fluid side, the drum machine is just blasting above everything. The vocals are pit low, and yeah, it's really, really fun. And I just love it when bands do this sort of visual aesthetic. Really, really cool. And that's it. That is my collection update for 2022. It's so weird to say 2022. Anyway... In the comment section below, let me know what you think of all of these releases, or even if you check out one or two of them, let me know what you think, because obviously I am 100% interested to know. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Joss, and as always, I will see you on the next video. Peace.